complex and compound sentences. In this lesson, we shall learn about complex and compound sentences. Now, we already know that a simple sentence is a sentence that contains one subject and one finite verb in a predicate. However, to make our writing interesting, we often use complex or compound sentences. A complex or compound sentence has more than one verb and therefore more than one subject, arranged in different clauses. Well, what is a clause, you might ask? So let's see what we can learn about that. A clause is a group of words containing a verb. Here we have some examples of clauses. The boy ran away. They are my friends. The hungry baby cried bitterly. Who is my teacher? It rolled under. Now you may notice that some of these clauses are actually sentences because they convey a complete meaning. The boy ran away is actually a sentence. But for the purpose of this lesson, it is a clause because it is a group of words containing a verb. And so all of these are clauses. But please do note that some clauses can be sentences in their own right. A phrase. Well, just as we know now that a clause is a group of words containing a verb, a phrase is a group of words which does not contain a verb and therefore does not make sense by itself and therefore could never stand alone as a sentence. So just as some clauses can stand alone as sentences, a phrase will never be able to do that because it doesn't contain a verb and cannot make complete sense. Here are some phrases. Up the hill, in a week or two, near the edge, all children in the school, their favorite book. Well, we add phrases to clauses to make interesting sentences. So phrases always go alongside clauses to make interesting sentences. Well, here we have some um, groups of words. And what we want to do is we want to just state whether they are phrases sentences or clauses. So have a go at this exercise. Look at these sentences and state clearly whether they are phrases, which means group of words that do not have a verb and do not make sense by themselves. Sentences, which means a group of words which stand by themselves and have a complete meaning. Or clauses, which are groups of words which do not have a complete meaning but do contain a verb. 